Boom. All right, welcome back, guys. Here we are playing a little bit of Blood of the Dead. Blood of the Dead. Blood of the Dead. We're playing a little bit of Blood of the Dead zombies here in 2022. And uh, yeah, working on some challenges. Got to play 20 rounds of Blood of the Dead for the daily challenge. We've also got to get 15 mini boss kills, which guess what? Blood of the Dead's perfect for that. And we've got to get 150 kills with pack a punched weapons. And at the same time, we're going to be working on grinding all the DLC weapons that we don't have uh, gold because we are trying to get every possible camo unlocked in zombies and that involves getting the DLC weapons in this game as well. Go ahead, drop down the turret. I don't know why I still have this on, bro. Oh, should be pretty easy, you know, simple, simple stuff. Um, <laughs> you already got the game launched, Brandon. You got launched. Tell me when you got it launched and we'll back out. I'll get you in here. Get you in here. Nody gang, let's go. Blood of that isn't bad. YouTube just killed the map. Uh, YouTube can't. I, I, I don't like that. I I don't think YouTube can kill anything. That, I think that's a pretty bad statement. Like, if if YouTube is able, like, if a map's bad enough to the point where YouTube can kill it, then it was already garbage. Like, it, YouTube wouldn't be able to kill anything that's not already garbage. The map itself might have just gotten bad public perception. Like, I don't think Blood of the Dead's bad, but... If YouTube's able to kill something, it must have been straight up garbage. Like that, that's what, oh wait, were you able to join? No way, bro was able to join in game? Oh, let's go? Easy. Mob versus blood, to be honest, I think I prefer blood of the dead. If we're gonna be a thousand percent honest, bro. I just don't like the way power or, I don't like the way Pack-a-Punch works on blood of the dead. Legitimately, I think I prefer blood just because the, the pack a punch, dude. Pack a punch on Blood of the Dead's so lame, and especially the fact that you gotta collect the parts every single time. Do the Easter egg? Nah, we grind, we grind, we grind him. But like, th that, I mean, it's always been my opinion on it. People are like, oh, YouTubers kill this, YouTubers kill that. No, if 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 YouTubers legitimately are able to kill something by making videos on it, it must have already been so bad, like so absolute garbage that it had it, it shouldn't like. Because it, if it, it was any decent whatsoever, YouTube would have had zero effect on it. Like, straight up. Where'd you get your YouTube name from? I don't know. It's just a combination. Like, it's it, not a super deep story. I mean, it's just abbreviates a bunch of stuff. We unlock things. I can't believe this clickbait. No, look at it, bro. It's it's Blood of the Dead. We're playing Blood of the Dead. It's a Blood of the Dead screenshot. And we're, bro, I, god dang. I know. See, the thing is, you're right, boys. The thumbnail's clickbait. I'm not standing in that exact spot. That's YouTube nowadays. Unless you're doing exactly what the thumbnail shows the entire time is clickbait. So for this video to not be clickbait, we can't move out of this spot right here. Okay. If we move, it's clickbait, boys, because the thumbnail shows this spot. And if we're not sitting in this exact spot at this exact time, the zombies aren't supposed to be... Bro, the thumbnail doesn't show any zombies, bro. You can't be here. I'm going to get called clickbait. Okay, now it's not clickbait. Bro, I swear the current state of YouTube, if the thumbnail isn't like the if the if the video isn't every frame of the thumbnail exactly with no other like the thumbnail didn't show zombies, so zombies can't spawn in. Clickbait. Also, my face wasn't in the thumbnail, so I actually gotta turn the face cam off, boys. Um unfortunately, if you don't have a face in your thumbnail, you can't have a face cam, because that's clickbait nowadays. Also, there was only one person in the game at the time of the thumbnail, so you gotta leave. <laughs> Bro, I swear, like, if anything's off by a millimeter, people nowadays are so stingy with that. It's clickbait because it's not Call of Duty Zombies, it's Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies rip, bro. God dang. Black Ops 4 Zombies HUD's probably one of the worst parts about this game. Like, dude, the HUD in this game is just... Dude, the HUD in this game is just bad. Like, there's no way around it, dude. The HUD in Black Ops 4... HUD in Black Ops 4 is bad. I will die on this hill. This is the worst zombies HUD we've ever seen. It's such a small thing, too. But you'd be surprised how much of a small thing can have such a big effect on a game. But, dude, is there anyone who likes this HUD? Look, there's just so much unneeded crap. I haven't played the Vanguard campaign yet. You misspelled dead new. No. YouTube does not like certain words. There are certain words that will suppress a video. I will never spell outbreak correctly because the word outbreak is actually suppressed on YouTube. The word dead suppressed on YouTube. My solution to this? Yeah, replace some of the letters. 
Replace some of the letters in a different order. You're good to go. So if you ever see words in my titles that are just, you know, slightly moved around, that's why. Oh, there we go. I got to work with this, bro. Yeah. Oh, you're right, boys. In the thumbnail, we weren't shooting a weapon, so it classifies as clickbait nowadays. You should play Alpha Omega. Bro, the title says Blood is Dead. <laughs> it's Black Ops 4. Yo, Thriller with the two months membership. Let's go, bud. What's going on, dude? Appreciate you. Join in one of the 265. Yo, Pog, four away from 269. Join in one of the 265 YouTube members. If you want to join yourself, boys, there's a join button down below or in the thing. Oh, I got to get heavy zombies. We got to get 15 of these boys. 15 of these boys are mini bosses, whatever. Oh my God, dude, what a bullet sponge. Oh. But yeah, we got to continue getting kills with this. Gotcha. I mean, you can get them too. We'll probably be playing this for a hot minute. Why is there no audio for that? Hmm, that one didn't pop up for me. Wait, it should pop up in just a second. Yo, Connor, I'll uh, become an unlocked member as well. Now at 266, boys. Pog, three away from 269. Thank you so much, Connor. How's everyone doing tonight? You know, just chilling, playing some Black Ops 4 Zombies with the homies, slowly making our way towards 100% on this game right y'all. Alpha's bottom tier, but not horrible. How do you have something bottom tier, but not horrible? That's a contradiction. Bottom tier means terrible. Bro, how can I, how am I not getting a single weapon that I need to work with out of this box right now? Come on. Monkey bombs. God dang, bro. One weapon that I need to work with. Keep getting stuff I already got Dark Aether for. Bro, we're back to square one. We spawned in with the Mog. Come on. Bro, one DLC. <laughs> Helian Salvo. What percent are you so far? I think we're 65%. We're currently 65% of the way there. Oh, wait, wait, here. We can do, we can make progress for the, mainly the elixir ones here. I'm going to drop these points. You're going to take those points. All right. You can do that once per game. I think I got to do that total like a hundred freaking times. Oh, my full cam. Have I been full cam this whole time? Lol. Nice. Nice. Playing Black Ops 2 Co-op Zombies. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when I'm ready for you to go down. I got I don't got the elixir right now. Um. God dang. You know, insta kill making this nice and easy, baby. So yeah, we still have to get about, god dang, over 2,500, probably close to 3K kills with this thing right here. Probably 3K kills with the freaking Hades.
There we go, baby. Let's go. Oh, he's not dead yet. Get a quick little cheeky reload. Boom! Level 264! That's part of the reason I don't play in public games, bro. Did you ever do Damascus? Yeah, we've got all the master camos. We just got Jamal. Yo, 38 likes in the stream, boys. Really appreciate the 38 of you guys who took the time to hit that like button. Definitely helps out the YouTube streams. Appreciate that so much. Ba -da 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 -da. Thinking of Black Ops 1, 2, 3, or 4, what's your favorite and why Cold War is my favorite Black Ops game? Black Ops 1 would be my second favorite. Bro, I could definitely use a little bit of Pack A Punch tonight. Raw. Thing will not go down. Maybe it's because round 10 we don't got pack a bunch of weapons. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. 51 likes, boys. Let's go. Quick little stream tonight. Oh, I've got three videos that I have to edit now. I've, I've got three different videos recorded. None of them are ready for tomorrow. Let's go. Yo, just shot. Um... Uh. I wonder what the quickest achievement you can get in COD history. Like out of all the zombie games, what map? I, I tried looking through this earlier, but I couldn't figure it out. So if you guys could help me, that would be great. Out of all the maps in COD history, what map has the easiest to get uh, achievement? Like if, if I was going to do achievement any percent run, like what map could I spawn in and get the quickest achievement out of any map? Like brand new account, fresh account, nothing done on it. Out of all the achievements in COD. And I looked through them and none of them seemed... Like there's none that are something you can do. Like I was looking for something like sub two minutes. Forsaken for sure. Does Forsaken have achievements? I didn't even look at the Cold War achievements. I don't know. What, I don't even know what achievements they have. What achievement, boys? But what, 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 you gotta be, what, you gotta, you can't just be like. Oh, I was, I was thinking like an official zombies map. What, what achievement on Shaloon? Shaloon Shuffle. It could be a non-official map, but what, what achievement is on Shaloon? That could be done in two seconds. TV game on. Unlock pack a punch. Ah, oh, that can't be done in under two minutes, bro. That's a long one. There are definitely achievements that can be done quicker than that. I don't know. I've tried looking through all the achievements in COD history, trying to find the quickest one. There's lists you can find online, but I don't even think about non-Treyarch ones. I'm, I'm wondering, I'm trying to find an achievement I can do sub like two minutes.
10 kills with Widow and Knife on Black Ops 3. If it's a brand new account, though, it doesn't have Gobble Gums. So I'd have to, I'd have to get Widow's one. All right, I could try to get a Perka. I could try to get a Perka. Oh, transit. Open the main door without turning on power, dude. What a goat. That is it, bro. That is, that is, yeah, that's sub two minutes for sure. Legitimately, that could be done in 30 seconds. Now I just got to make a new account for Black Ops 2, which is not super easy on PC, but we'll get it working. Yo, Vicar, how's it going? Repack weapon and boost damage. Because see, my, my goal is, my, my goal is, so everyone's got like, I've seen so many other zombie YouTubers making different videos on achievements, right? We've got Mr. Dialect JD posting the, like, he got the, the most, whatever, I forget what it was, the title of this video. It was the, um, uh, the rarest achievement. He got the rarest achievement, and then I, I know that, um, Bro, I can't think of any names right now. God dang. Um, Greg FPS got the hardest achievement. Mr. Dalek G got the rarest one. And then Chrism posted that he took two years to get this certain achievement. I want to post my video. I got the easiest achievement. Uh, you know? That's my goal. Everyone's going for the hard achievements, bro. Nah, that's not where it's at. It's the easy achievements, baby. It's the easy achievements. You guys spending all this time putting effort in videos? Nah, we, 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 we out here getting the easiest achievements in COD history, not the hardest ones. What perk did I not get? Did I not get the perk in the spot? Oh, God dang, bro. Why is that so loud, bro? Woo! Six Earth 305 with the five dollar super chat. Do you think uh three arc should go back and add one more wonder weapon into outbreak? And if so, which one? Also, do you think they should add the abomination as well? Yeah, bro. I want more outbreak content, bro. I, I'd like the abomination. Add that sucker into outbreak. A thousand percent. Uh, I mean, there's only two wonder weapons that are missing. The only wonder weapons you cannot get in outbreak would be the Cerberus and the um the big old crystal ax the crystal ax uh and if oh i think i'd i think i'd rather oh bro they're both goaded i think i'd rather have the crystal ax bro i wish all i wish all the wonder weapons should be an outbreak legitimately outbreak should just be a giant combination of everything else that's already in the game everything else that's already in the game it should just be a giant combination of that so yeah every wonder like in the next game when they have like outbreak 2 Bro, every wonder weapon that's added into the new game should also be added into Outbreak. All of them. Every single one should be, boom, put that sucker in Outbreak. Um, same thing. Every new boss type, I feel like everything should be thrown into Outbreak. It should just be a melting pot of all the maps. A giant sandbox with everything in it. Like, have you seen the new Batman? No. In Spaceland, play every arcade game at least once. Bro, Scarlet's not an easy one. What are you talking about? That one's that one takes forever. Imagine Abomination HVT. Let's go. But sick Earth, thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful night. Appreciate you joining by showing some support as we're doing our quick little Black Ops 4 hundred percent stream. The quickest achievement has to be the tagged or a toe in secret achievement, bro. That's not quick. Bro, I feel like you guys got a warp, uh, a warp sense of quick. All right, I'm headed to the spot. I I think the easiest achievement in COD history has to be the 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 opening the door without turning on power. 
That's legitimately just building the turbine, right? That's all that is, correct? All you, all you got to do is... Oh, wait. Did, didn't it say open the... Wait, what, what was the achievement again? Isn't the ch achievement in the spawn room just building the mannequin and opening the door without paying for it? Yeah, I gotta do clothes, Nolan. I don't have any merch shirts. All oh, my shirts are dirty. Correct the title? No, 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 no. Cannot correct the title. Corrected title would be suppressed on YouTube. You can't put the word dead in title. Boys, uh, I, I purposely don't spell outbreak, dead, or die, or anything like that correct in the title. Those words are suppressed on YouTube. You do not want to spell those correctly in the title. Rearrange the word just a tad bit. YouTube does not like the word dead in a title. Big no-no. <sighs> Yo, RGM, RGM with a $2 super chat. You look cute tonight, bro. So do you. So do you, man. Appreciate the $2 super chat. Man looking, man looking hella cute tonight, bro. Appreciate the $2 though. Oh, you need to open all the... Never mind. That's not a quick... Okay, I, I was... Legitimately, I thought the achievement was just for... Eh, rip. Never mind. Bro, what's the qu easiest achievement in COD Zombies history? What is the easiest one? Come on. Out of all the maps ever, what is the just straight up, like, boom, hop on, get it, like, super duper quick? Grand prize on Mauer or Toten. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your mouth. God dang. <laughs> Getting Pat for D Machine. Dude, that takes so long, bro. You gotta be go. That's like a. I, I want something that's under two minutes. There's gotta be some achievement in COD history that's under two minutes. There's gotta be some achievement. Dude, I wish Nocturne and Toten had achievements. If Nocturne and Toten had achievements, it'd be easy. That that's not an achievement, that's a calling card. Uh, yeah, I guess we're, we're straight up just farming kills for this. Trying to get 1,500 or 150 pack kills. And we're also getting kills for this other SMG we picked up, boys. So it's a grind at night. Oh, get the flamethrower if you get lucky. I legitimately, we can make a whole video out of that. It'd just be me restarting, buying the box over and over again until I get the flamethrower first hit. Wait, what achievement is that on? Get the flamethrower? What map is that achievement for? Wait, how, how do you do that glitch, oh my? Do you legit just hit the same one six times and you get it? No way. Do you have to set that up at all? Or can you legit just keep ringing the same one over and over again? Like, that's that's it. Like, that's... No, I haven't opened the door to Warden's house. Actually, I don't know how to... I don't even know where the tell... I don't even know... What the teleporter to Warden's house is. I don't know how to... I, I'll follow you if you go there. I don't know I don't know how to teleport there. I know how to walk there, but I don't know where.
Yeah, that's what I was saying. I feel like that might be a good spot to camp. We fast travel there. I just don't know how to get there. Just hit the same belt over and over again. Really? Bro, I'd have to make a new Black Ops 4 account because I have the achievement, though. Oh, and you can't game share on this. Legitimately, I'd have to find a friend who has Black Ops 4 and doesn't have that achievement. Bro, if that works... Yeah, that has to be the quickest achievement in COD history. Round three with zero enemies entering knock. That's pretty quick, too. So this needs headshots. Monogrove is what you get right before you get the dark matter, right? No, that's that's du dust sandstorm, right? Monogrove is like not a lot of headshots, I think. So this we need to get headshots with, and this I just need to get pure kills with. Our buy a perk with the wind turbine powering transit. Oh, wait, is quick revive and spawn room on transit? Is that, that's... What, wait, what achievement is that for, Gil? I don't think that's a World of War achievement. I, I've got all the achievements except for the... Black Ops 4 is the only Zombies game I don't have all the achievements on. I legitimately have every World War 2, every Infinite Warfare. Like, I have every Zombies achievement except for the Black Ops 4 ones. I'm missing three. Oh, Quick Revive's already powered. Are you sure some of those? Yeah, that 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 legit sounds made up. How do I see the achievement? Oh, I don't know if we can make game. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. It's too it's too low of a round. What's going on, Hells? Teleport on transit, if that's a legit one, that one's easy AF.
Yeah, so we still have a lot of headshots to go with this bad boy. I say we go back to the other place. This place ain't feeling it. What are the contracts? I've only got one mini boss kill out of the 15. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, who's giving you inside information? How do you know what the new Black Ops 3 video is? Well, I got to cancel it now, and you know, bro. Someone knows it's out. I guess I just delete the recording, bro. Radio silence. Hit the radio and knock during tone. Are you sure that's a legit achievement? For what? Is that a is that a Black Ops 3 achievement for it? Doctor and Toten didn't have any achievements in World of War. It are in Black Ops 1. So unless that's a new Black Ops 3 achievement, I've never heard of that one. It hit the radio. Are you a thousand percent sure that's an achievement? It'd have to be on Black Ops 3. Doctor and Toten had zero achievements uh, in World of War. Doctor and Toten and Varrock. Nocturne and Tone and Varrock are the only two maps in COD history to not have any achievements. Yeah, I don't know. That achievement list ain't right. Some of those ain't real. I don't think the mobile game has achievements, bro. 84 likes in the stream, boys. Let's go. <sighs> oh, Scar, that's a good one. Nah, I think the snowball one's faster if it works. Yo, Hell's Broadcast with the $5 hype chat. Super sticker. Let's go, dude. What's going on? Appreciate the support, bud. Man, always coming through strong. Bro, these are the times I wish there was a Rampage Inducer. Dude, a Rampage Inducer on this would be sick. The snowball, Scarlet, the snowball one, you legitimately throw six snowballs. You spawn in and throw six snowballs and you're done. I have a feeling it's going to be like less than 10 seconds. I'll try both. I'll a thousand percent try both. Switch played level 16, baby. No, I don't want to involve that Ops Arcade. And I want it to be main series games. I don't want it to be like a mobile game. Headshots, headshots. Everyone give me that headshot, headshot. This gun still needs like way too many headshots, headshots. So that's our goal for tonight. I want to try to finish up the headshots for the little bit of the Switch Blade. And then I also want to work on the secondary. The thing is, I'm going to have to make a new account for all these. I don't, I'm legitimately going to have to sign into a friend's Black Ops 4 account who doesn't have the achievement. Because <sighs> I can't make a new, like, on... Or I could try to find a friend's World of War account, too. There's one for transit. Kill a denizen while it's latched onto you. 
You just knife it, bro. That's not bad at all. What about buying the L side off the wall in Black Ops 2? That's a pretty quick one, too, if that's an achievement. I thought you had to pack a punch it. I thought you had to buy the L side and pack it. Yeah, but Left ain't got it on PC. I gotta have someone who got it on the battle.net, bro. Yeah, I think the 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 top contenders Bro, this is gonna be a fire video. This video is gonna get no views because if I do multi-cod content, no one watches it. But the whole video is gonna be themed like because I'm gonna start off the video like, all right, so everyone's out here getting achievements now. Right? You've got <laughs> You've got um Greg FPS getting the hardest achievement. You got Dialog JD getting the rarest achievement. You got Chrism getting the weirdest achievement. We're gonna be getting the absolute easiest achievement because we put no effort into this. And what we're gonna and I'm just gonna go through and time them all. I'll time the darkest shore one, see how quickly I can get that. We'll time the black ops four one and we'll be like, alright, out of all the easy achievements, this was the quickest one. We now have the world record for achievement any percent. Nah, the thing is, Young, I don't really want to switch up the maps. One, the title says we're playing Blood of the Dead, and if people join in after that, they're going to be like, oh, this ain't Blood of the Dead. Um, But on top of that, like, I honestly, like, we're already halfway through the stream, and it's like, it just takes so long to set up and get zombies spawning in at a decent rate that I'd rather just keep going. Like, we, like, we would, yeah. Hopefully one of these, like, the only reason we played this is because this was my daily challenge, so I'd love to go to tag, but we wouldn't even we wouldn't have time to get set up. But one of one of these days my daily is gonna be tagged during tone, and that's gonna be it, bro. It there's gotta be more to it than just reviving a teammate. I need someone to make a list of all these. God dang, I'm going to forget. You guys are giving me all these good ideas. I'm going to forget. So we've got the uh, the transit ones. Transit's got um, the teleporting and the denison. Uh, those both seem super easy. Uh, Black Ops 4 has the tag and tote and snowball one, which is also super easy. Um, the darkest shore has the surviving without using a mounted MG turret, which sounds super easy. Um, Left's mom, also super easy achievement. Um, what else? Yo, Lemon, let's, what's going on, buddy? I don't hate tag. I just, I never really played it. Tag just bores me. I don't, tag, I wouldn't say is garbage. Like, tag's not a bad map. It's just bland and boring to me. You know what I mean? I don't hate it and I don't like it. It's just, tag just kind of exists. I've never had the, like, I can play tag, but I've never wanted to play tag. There's maps that I legitimately don't like playing because they're like, they're super boring to play. Tag's not like a map that I hate playing, but I never am like, I never wake up and I'm like, bro, it's tag day. Let's go play some tag during tag. Like if I play it, it's like, I'm always getting footage for something. Like I'm never, like I'm never playing it because it's, you know what I want to play that day. I don't know, it doesn't got like, I like Call of the Dead because of the super Easter egg. It's the only like super Easter egg reward Treyarch's ever done on a single map is on tag. And you got the scavenger, which is so fun to use. You get the VR 11, which is freaking weird AF. Um, I mean, you got thick boy George Romero and you can get all of your perks by like giving it to George so many times. Split screen and... 
acquire two perks before turning on power. That one takes a minute. Like, that one would take a minute. I, th there's definitely faster ones than that one. Let's play IW later and see a scar. Throw up, bro. This must be easy for you, bro. I'll throw up in the loading screen. Easy. Buried has give Le Leroy candy. That one's not too bad. Well, the thing is, you gotta understand, you gotta you gotta account for how many doors have to be opened. That's a lot of doors to open and bury to give Leroy candy. Bro, we got we don't even have the clash camo for this yet. This needs about a thousand more headshots. I'm planning on doing a rampage inducer only series. It's gonna be the rampage challenge. Essentially, the goal is to go like legitimately, you gotta turn on the rampage inducer before killing a zombie, and you gotta get to 55 without turning it off. It's not a hard challenge, but it seems like a fun challenge for a video. It's not like, you know, oh, I was able to do this. Look at me like it. You know, I, I feel like most people are able to do it, but it's a fun idea for a video. It's going to be called the Rampage Only. I, I actually, I don't know what the name of it, but something like that. Or Epic, it's Ascension. I don't think you understand. Ascension is so easy. You can get to whatever round you want without going down. Ascension is legitimately the easiest training map of all time. There's like nine of the easiest trains ever on that map. But it just got so boring, bro. Because like I, I died because I'm like, bro, I'm not buying the box for the Thunder Gun anymore. Because that's what happens. On higher rounds, you get to the point where you just got to keep cycling for new weapons to get ammo. You got to get rid of the Thunder Gun and get out of the box again. And it just takes forever. And it's like, bro, this ain't worth it. So I'm just like, you know, we're just going to use traps because I'm not going to sit here and buy the box for 10 hours. Higher than you've ever gone in Black Ops 1. The thing is, I feel like if you go back now, you're probably a better player now. Like Black Ops 1 isn't super hard. It really isn't. Most of the maps have pretty easy training strats. Like if I really wanted to, if I could like that was just my first attempt at that map. Like if I really wanted to, I get 100, but it takes eight hours. Like I don't think you understand. Getting round 100 in the older zombie games isn't hard. The only hard part about it is setting aside the time and not getting bored. High rounding in old zombie games is hella boring. Like Ascension would take eight hours of sitting there, flipping the box, going across. And that's the that's the hard part. Like even five, five is semi hard, but like I didn't even, I wasn't even in my run. I wasn't even doing the train correctly. And I was surviving pretty well to like round 26. And if you get that train down, even five is an easy hundred plus. It's just time consuming because you're waiting on traps back and forth, back and forth. But obviously, Kino's a super easy hundred plus. You just train in the middle area. Um, moon, I've I I've never like trained properly on Moon. I've never tried to hire on a Moon. Like, I don't even know what to like. I know in the room that it's at, but I'm not sure I could even. I feel like you don't give OG zombies the love they deserve, dude. I give tons of love to the OG zombies. World of War and Black Ops One are some of my favorite. Like those. Some of my most time played in it. Like, I, I love the old school zombies, but high rounding on the older zombie games was just boring because there's only one way to high round. Like, usually there's just one strategy and it's just, it's so time consuming doing the same thing over and over again. Like, I feel like old zombies just weren't meant for high rounding. Like, it didn't really have a late game. The late game was just a rinse and repeat of the same thing over and over again. But there's so many things I loved about Black Ops 1 and War. Like, OG zombies, like... Bro, I, I love World of War. Black Ops 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. But I'm, I'm not going to sit and say it's perfect. I feel like that's where a lot of people get things differently. A lot of people love the old games like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, World of War. People love the OG zombie games. And they just, but they also won't point out any flaws, which that's not the case. Like, dude, I love World of War. I love Black Ops 1. Uh, I really like Black Ops 2, but they're not perfect. I don't think any game is perfect. I love Cold War. Cold War is not perfect. I'll point out the flaws of Cold War all day long. Legitimately, they should have made it where you could turn off the tier upgrade. So if people wanted a challenge, they could, you know, legitimately turn off the, the skill upgrades. That would have been a huge improvement.
Our new weapons coming to Cold War. Two confirmed weapons are coming. Uh, Black Ops 1 for sure. Black Ops 1, I think, was the best trailer game till Cold War came out. I think Black Ops 1 was the best Zombies game, but I think, I think Cold War might have topped it. At least in my opinion, which is very subjective, bro. People play whatever they like. Like, that's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, you don't like my opinion on zombies? Then, oh, you suck. Which is not the case at all. People are allowed to have different opinions. You're saying everything is good, but you ain't saying Vanguard is good in any way possible? I mean, Vanguard's a good example of what not to do, though. That's the thing. The, the best part about Vanguard, it's legitimately a lesson. It's a lesson of, like, if you try to rush out of Zombies mode, like, a couple weeks before launch and add something in, it's not gonna work. Like, legitimately, you can't just slap Zombies on it and, like... And there's so many learning lessons from Vanguard Zombies in terms of stuff like that. The whole time gate thing, and I think it's really letting... Like, it, it, it's gonna be good for future games. And that's what Vanguard's good for. It's a good example of like, okay, trying something and it didn't work. And that's how you learn. Also, I love the weapon selection in, in Vanguard. But that's not really something that deals with zombie. Just Vanguard in general. The weapon selection in Vanguard zombies is better than Cold Wars, bro. That game launched with four shotguns. Launched with four shotguns. Four rocket launchers. Like... The amount of weapons Vanguard launched with is insane. And it's super cool for zombies. Unfortunately, the zombies game itself isn't, you know, the funnest thing to play. But that, to me, is huge. I see what you mean. The health system, the OG kind of whack. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really mind the health system. I don't really care how much health the player has. It... it to me, it's just the high rounding. High, like, that's to me, like, Cold War made high rounding so much more fun. Like, Black Ops 4, um, even Black Ops 3, because Black Ops, well, Black Ops 3 didn't do as much, but Cold War, there are so many different strategies you can high round with. So many different strategies. Where in the old game, it's legitimately the same strategy over and over again till 100. There's, like, one strategy on each map, and there's, it's all repetitive. There's no variation, no difference. Where Cold War actually gives you the freedom to mix it up. It's not boring. It's not the same thing over and over. And that's what I love. It just has so much more replayability in the older games for high rounding. Like Samuel, how many different ways did Sam get to 100 last year? A bajillion. Guess guess, guess what content he would have been able to make if it was like Black Ops 3. Using Deadwire to round 100. Using the Wonder Weapon to round 100. And then it's like, alright, well now we wait for the next Zombies game. Like that, that would have been it. There wouldn't have been any of those different things to test out. I don't know. It just it just made high rounding a lot more versatile and more content than that. Add more RPGs. That's what I'm saying, and I feel like a lot of people put, like, there's so many things the older games did wrong, but, dude, try to go to round 100 on the older games. It's not even that it's hard. Like, it's not even hard to go to round 100 on a lot of the older games. It's not. Like, people are like, oh, just because you're bad is why you like Cold War. Like, no. Dude, round 100 on Kino is super easy. It's just boring. It's the same thing over and over again for eight hours long, and it's like, bro, I, I'm playing this for fun, like, not to prove a point. Like, I don't really care how hard it is. It has nothing to do with how hard it is. It's the fact that I can, you know, change it up and not do the same thing every day of my life. You know what I mean? And that's what older games are. That, that's the argument I don't get. People are like, all you do is sit in a corner with Ring of Fire and camp around 100. It's like, no. In Cold War, you don't have to do that. You can do so much more. You can try the War Machine. You can use a Flamethrower. You could use a different weapon. You can use Shatter Blast. You can use Dead Wire. Like, you don't just have to use Ring of Fire. Like, that might be what you're using when you hit around 100, but I try out all different types of things. But if you're playing Black Ops 4, 
more than likely you'd be using whatever the wonder weapon on the map is, our dead wire, and legitimately just sitting in one area the entire game. And it's like, you don't gotta do that anymore. You can have fun now. Fire trap again. <sighs> Bro, I gotta get some more headshots with this. Just activate the fire trap on Kino for eight hours. And it's like, bro, if you find that fun, that's great. Like, if you find activating the fire trap for eight hours over and over again on Kino, bro, more power to you. Go for it. But for you to be like, oh, your opinions are invalid on COD because you just like to use Ring of Fire and War Machine. It's like, bro, you like to sit for eight hours in an area activating the fire trap. Like, how is that any different, bro? That's no different. That's so much more boring. At least you can mix it up. And you can make your own difficulty scale on Cold War. You can make Cold War extremely hard if you want. Or you can make it extremely easy. The choice is up to you, the user. You want it to be hard? Then Ballistic Knife only with no ammo mods to round 100. There you go. That's so much harder than anything you're doing in the older games. Like, so much harder. I mean, Vanguard Zombies is important for the simple fact is the next Treyarch Zombies game is going to be on an engine way closer to that. So they're kind of learning how to do certain things on that, which to me is great. They need all the time they can get because the zombie pathing, we are three and a half months in. The zombie pathing is an absolute disaster on Vanguard. The zombie pathing will not be at a launch ready state by legitimately ever. Like, I don't think they're ever going to fully get the zombie pathing on that game even remotely correct which is fine because vanguard to be honest is just but like a round base map wouldn't work round base would never work with that zombie pathing on that game it is a mess so they're getting time to figure out how to do things on this engine before the next rare game because i can tell you right now at its current state a round base map would not even remotely work on that the zombies wouldn't path right they can't even get through doors 90 percent of the time can't even get through doors Like the zombies get caught on everything, but that's perfect. Like that, like Vanguard is alert, like is legitimately them getting ready for the next zombies game because it's going to be on that engine. The next Treyarch game is going to be on that engine. So if they don't figure out how to get pathing right, like pausing right, any of that stuff, the next Treyarch game is not going to have any of these things. So Vanguard is legitimately just like let's figure out how to learn how to do this, <laughs> which is perfect, bro. You gotta like yeah. Do you mind if you ask why you don't prefer Black Ops 3 over Cold War? I just feel Black Ops 3 is more casual based. I feel like Cold War is kind of more towards the hardcore audience in terms of stuff. Like, Black Ops 3 is great, but to me it just felt more of like a casual game. That, and it was missing a lot of content. Like, the, the things that I like in a game, Black Ops 3 Zombies didn't have any of it. It felt very lacking, especially during its life cycle. It did not get the updates it needed. Like, when new DLC weapons were added. At no point in time were you ever to grind. You weren't able to grind the camos on that. You weren't able to do anything, which just seemed lazy. They cut so many corners in Black Ops 3 that I was just like, bro, if you're not going to put effort into the mode, I'm not going to play it anymore. And that was one of my biggest things. Black Ops 3 was just, it just didn't feel like it got the time and effort that zombies deserved in that. It definitely felt like a side mode in that game. Treyarch want a bunch of their stuff from Engine for that stuff. Cody, you would think they would do that for Vanguard too because they're developing Vanguard zombies and no, none of that's there, Cody. None of that's there. Maybe it's because the full game's not theirs, but dude, Vanguard zombies is so... When do you think the size coming out, bro? I have no idea. Dude, there's so much content in Cold War that's just sitting ready to be launched at any point in time. Do you think Infinite Warfare is ever going to make another Zombies game? Probably not. I wish, dude. I'd love an Infinite Warfare too.
it's not their game i, I guess that makes sense oh yeah, yeah i i can do the revive thing if you want to get revived bro I, I could i completely forgot about that i don't know cody we'll just see dude it teleported me nowhere near you But I forgot, I gotta keep doing that, bro. I gotta get so many of those done. Yo, 250 more kills with this. 250 more kills with this. And then how many kills do I have this game with it? About a thousand. And this bad boy's done, bro. Then this bad boy's done. I, I wanna make a video out of it. So I don't wanna finish it off completely. I just wanna get it up there. I definitely want to try to finish the headshots for this, though. Nah, Cody, there's too much money to be had in zombies. Zombies is too big of a pull for a trailer game. I don't think that, like, bro, it's Activision, bro. You think they're just going to be like, nah, we don't want the money. They don't even have to put a good zombies mode in. They could just slap some, like, half-butt thing in there and people buy it because it says zombies. Divinium is not pay to win a thousand percent it is anything you can pay for that gives you advantage even if you can grind it for free it doesn't matter it, it's a thousand percent the definition of pay to win like you can't change the definition of pay to win that's not how that's not how definitions work i'm gonna go down because i got the one thing oh god dang it well rip now we gotta wait for that but divinium is a thousand ten percent pay to win I go down. Boom. Oh, look at this. With the ray gun down here. Let's go. All right. But I want to try to finish the head shots for this, this game. Black Ops 4. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's poppin'? Just a little bit of Black Ops 4 grinding, baby. Come on, give me that max. Give me that max. Nope. God dang it. Or how are we gonna drop for everything besides a max? Legitimately, every power up besides a max. That's a max right there, please. There we go, baby. About to say. I legitimately think the Mauer painting bubbles is just a visual bug, bro. That's all it is. I don't think there's anything more to it. The uh, pay to win is something you can buy and get OP. You can only, no, no, that's not the definition of pay to win. Pay to win, the definition of pay to win is if someone spends money and can get an advantage. So here, here's the quickest way you can find out how Black Ops 4 is pay to win. Someone has $10,000, right? It doesn't matter the amount of money. If they have $10,000 and they buy Gobblegum. So now they've got 999 Round Robins, 999 Perkaholics, 999 of the thing that uh, self-medications. They got they have 999 of all these Gobblegums, 999 of the things. You and him are about to see who can get the highest round. Do you think you have the same the same shot as him? He's got 999 of all these. He's got 999 Perkaholics, 999 Round Robins, 999 of all of these. And you just have a base free-to-play account. Who do you think has a better chance of getting to like a higher round? And if he has a better chance than you, that's pay to win. That's the definition of pay to win.
But if he has the same chance as you to get to a high round, then it's not. But I think if he's got 999 round robins, 999 self med, 999, like, I'm pretty sure he could fly through rounds so much quicker than you. I mean, he starts off with all the perks. Legitimately, he can just boom, go to the, yeah. That's just stupid. That guy needs financial help. It doesn't matter, though. It's pay to win. Bro, that, that's... It doesn't matter if the guy needs financial help or not. It's still pay to win. Destiny 2 is the destiny of pay to win. I, don't, I haven't played Destiny 2. I don't think anyone should do that. That's crazy. But, I mean... If they did, they would have an advantage, would they not? I'm pretty sure they would. I'm pretty sure if they've got 999 of every gobble gum, they would have a way higher chance of beating you. I mean, but like people, like 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 I said, the game's so old now that legitimately you can just hack and get 999 of all gobble gums, and that's that's the one type of uh, that's the one type of modding that I think is completely acceptable, because legitimately, not, like it's not like you're you're not grinding for something or you're not hacking for something you wouldn't be able to do yourself. You're hacking for something that legitimately is just not giving Activision money. The only difference between hacking in max gobble gums. Is that now instead of getting Mac or instead of doing that, you're just straight up not giving Activision money. That's the only difference. Is Activision's not getting money. Same thing in between. What about free ones? We should have those. We do. We have Cold War has a ton of free ones. Legitimately, Cold War just took the gobblegum system and made it completely free with the tier upgrades. Most of those tier upgrades are gobblegums. Almost all of them are gobblegums. That's where the majority of them came from. Like, Cold War has the gobblegum system. It's just free now. You don't have to pay for it anymore. That's the big difference. You don't have to make, you know, a crap ton of money to be able to fully experience. You can fully experience it every game without spending any money. He's the guy in those math problems buying 999 apples and giving half to a friend. If he buys 999 apples and 74 oranges and then gives half of both of those to Jimmy, how many does he have in total of both? But I mean, it's to each their own. That's the one thing about zombies, bro. Zombies is so opinionated. Like, I feel like the COD zombies community is just there's so many different groups and it's just like bro we all got to get along i hate when people like will straight like I, I think there's a difference between having like a conversation about things but there are people who legitimately like get f like fumes get inflamed and will like yell at you and be like bro you're a clown bro you're like just on twitter just like your opinion is different than mine therefore you're wrong it's like bro their opinions neither one is wrong except if you like zetsubonoshima if you like zetsubonoshima you're a clown you're wrong but uh, <laughs> uh, but it's like, God dang, bro. The, the community's so toxic with stuff like this. Like, and like, if someone's like, bro, I like Vanguard zombies, bro. They're allowed to like Vanguard zombies. I see people hate on people. Like, if someone comes in here and chat and they're like, bro, I love Vanguard zombies. Bro, who cares if they're playing Vanguard zombies? Let them. Like, if it's their favorite game, that doesn't affect you at all. Let them, let them grind Vanguard zombies all day. There's nothing wrong with that. But they shouldn't also get mad at you if you don't like the fact that it has a pause button. But Lego, it's the COD community still. Bro, the zombies community is more toxic than the COD community. I don't think you understand. The most toxic part of the COD community is the zombies community. Legitimately, I'm pretty like the most toxic part of the COD community is a thousand percent the zombies part. Like, it is so bad, bro. You can't have opinions on anything or people will just tickle your feet all night long. And, bro, I don't like my feet being tickled all night long. I really don't. I want the max, not the nuke. God dang it, nuke! Green Tiger is the next stop for this bad boy. Boys, appreciate the 106. That's what I like about my community. I think my community here 
is very open to different zombies opinions because we talk about it a lot and we, we have pretty civil discussions. The people who get upset with opposing opinions usually leave the chat pretty quickly, but we're pretty open to like everything here. We don't really blindly hate on anything, whereas there are very other subsets and I, I'm legitimately not even talking about other YouTubers. I'm not trying to like whatever they do on their term, like that's a thousand percent up to them. But here we are very open to all the different types. No, we're not like it. We're pretty open unless you like Zetsubo, which dude, even if you like Zetsubo, I'm just, I'm obviously joking. It doesn't. But no, like there's people in this community that like Vanguard, bro. I'm still making Vanguard content. There's people who watch me who still legitimately like Vanguard and that's fine. Like we're not. If you like Black Ops 3, okay. You realize you alienate so much the uh God dang it. Well rip, I actually lost my perks on that one. <laughs> Black Ops 3 is better than Vanguard. Hundred and seven likes in the stream, boys. Let's go. Nah, bro. I probably do need. I, I kind of want to wait for the next. Oh my god, bro! We're loading without. I'm missing cola. Where's cola? Is cola the one that's way down at the bottom? I don't care how much points it is to buy it. I don't want to go to it. Oh wait, wait. You're not. You're okay. Where's Cola, boys? What perk is that? God dang, it's the one on the docks? Ew! That's the farthest one away. Out of all the ones it could be, of course, it's the farthest one away that I lose, bro. I'm gonna wait till the next dog round. I'll go get it. I mean, that's the thing. Everyone's got a different play style in zombie and depending on your play style in zombie depends on what map you're going to like more. Like that's really what it comes down to. Next dog round, I'm a bot perks. I'm a bot perks. I'm a bot perks. I'm a bot perks. <sighs> I have 2,000 plus hours. I think I've got 2,500 hours in Black Ops 3. 2,500 hours in that game. 2,500 hours, bro. I don't. I like to multitask Hellraiser. That's the thing. Like, I like to be able to text and play zombies sometimes, bro. You know? And by text, I mean read YouTube comments and have people yell at me all day. Because no one wants to text me because I don't, I don't have a life.
Yo, Aaron with a $10 super chat. Let's go. Caught the sleep stream. Now this one. I'm on a roll, bud. Keep up the good work. Love the viz, dude. Appreciate the massive support. Yeah, honestly, I don't remember much from the sleep stream. Part of it because I was mainly trying to sleep, bro. God dang, that was a disaster. Dude, my back still hurts. Legitimately, this was not comfortable to sleep like that. Like, at all. <laughs> my back. Like, I don't even care that I didn't get a lot of sleep, bro. It was the back that killed me. But that was the 100k sub special. That's why you guys freaking want kind uh, but dude, appreciate you coming in with the $10 super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the massive support, bud. Dude, why do you keep buying the box? You look too cute when you sleep. All right, Insomnia. Making me blush a little bit. Yo, thank you for the donation, Insomnia. I don't know if I just completely slept through yours or what happened, but I, dude, I don't. I know that you were here, and I saw that your name was on the board when I woke up, but bro, I was... <laughs> I was asleep. Oh! Uh. Bro, how many more headshots do I need for the Dark Aether Camel on this? Yo, Insomnia, you're killing it with the streams, bro. You're so consistent with it, bro. And you're getting viewerships on the older games like it's no one's business. Like, you're kind of, like, actually high-key killing it right now, bro. Like, in terms of live streams for zombies content, like... I don't think anyone's doing it like you right now, man. Like, if I'm gonna be 100 with you. Which Cold War Easter Egg should I do right now? The first Outbreak Easter Egg. The first Outbreak Easter Egg. Legion Boss Fight. Let's go! The Fire Machine Easter Egg? Bro, I think I think that's... Except I'm choking on records? Bro, it doesn't matter. Even if you're choking on the records, you got, you got that fan base watching you, which is absolutely killer. You'll get it eventually, bro. It's practice. I know for a fact you'll get it, bro. And, dude, everyone's with you along for the ride, and that's all that matters. Doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as you got the homies there behind you. Which you definitely freaking do, bro. You're, like I said, hikey killing it. Doesn't really matter how long it takes. Dark round, baby. Ah, oh, we gonna go down for that. Trying to do stuff on the... Uh, you know, I forgot I could just pause this game. Finally bought Black Ops 1 on PC. Going to be your first ever PC game. Nice, nice. Why? Is, I'm wondering what the specific reason. Is there a reason that you're not going to do that one on PS4 as well? Or... Or I guess PS3? Is that on... That was on PS3. Or is that the reason? Because it's not on PS4. You want to bring out the old PS3. Now that one has backwards compatibility, doesn't it? Doesn't I feel like the Black Ops games? I feel like Black Ops One and Two have backwards compatibility. The Modern Warfare games are the ones that don't. I don't know. I I don't I don't understand the whole console thing. I usually play on PC, so I'm not kind of out of the loop on.
What do you think about COD Warzone Mobile? I don't know. It could be pretty massive. Look fun. Come on. God dang, bro. There's finally a max. Only had to activate my, what's it called, to get it. Dying wish. Yo, 120 likes in the stream, boys. Let's go. How have we still not got 15 of these dudes yet? That's one thing we need to make sure we do before we end the game is get all 15 of these dudes. It's also like dog rounds don't exist on this. God dang. Let's go. Bro, any kill now, I should be getting the headshots finished for this. What's that one? No, I, I don't have like any of the dark ops. Yo, Aaron with a $5 on top of the 10 that he did earlier. Let's go, bud. Appreciate that so much. When are you and Insomnia going to do a collab? Oh, bro, that would be fire. Bro, it would be fire. We definitely have to do that sometime. There's a lot of people I want to collab with right now, but I, I I don't know. Trying to trying to get the content a little bit more stable on my channel right now. So I haven't, doing, I haven't done a lot of collabs, but I, I got to do one with Insomnia, Skeptic. Special. There's so many people I want to I want to make videos with, but it's at the same time. It's like I, dude, I can't even think of what we would do for content, but <sighs> But a thousand percent I don't know when though bro like I said, there's so many people I've got in the backlog The Legion calling card? I don't know. We'll definitely do it. I'm going to get a lot of the Dark Ops on the alt. Oh, no joke. If you guys are watching this right now, I'm not going to spoil it. I My best video I've ever recorded with the most insane thing that's ever happened to me. Like, it, probably the most insane thing I've ever done on recording ever is going to be the R Gold Viper grind. The AUG. The AUG Gold Viper grind. It's not coming out tomorrow. But do not miss the AUG Gold Viper grind. It is all I am saying. Like, I do not want to spoil it. But it is... It, I, I, I don't even... The thing is, the way I'm going to title it isn't going to make sense to the very end of the video. Because I didn't expect to happen what happened. You just, you just got to look at the title and you got to wait till the end of the video. You just got to... Like, it won't even make sense. You probably won't be able to guess what happens looking at the title. But, um... Bro... Freaking love that vid. I cannot wait for that to come out. That'll come out sometime this week. Oh, but I'm high. I didn't even expect that going in. It's something you can't really set up. Like it just it just happened. And I'm like, oh. Oh. 
All right, skip to the end. You'll miss some of the buildup, though. You'll miss why it's so ridiculous. Wait, what do you want? Eh. You miss some of it. It definitely won't have the same impact. Bro, how are we not done with the headshots for this bad boy yet? Reload. This SMG is not very good. Yeah, I know many. I know how many headshots it is, but we got the Dune camo forever ago, and there's 400 kills between the Dune. Like once you get the Dune camo, you need 400 more headshots to get the uh, Dark Ether camo. Need 400 more to get the dark ether camo. And I feel like I've definitely got the 400 headshots. Oh, Farrah J in here. What's going on, bro? How you doing? How you doing? How's it hanging? Hopefully low. Hopefully on the floor. Hopefully shit's dragging, bro. Dog round, maybe, please. Yo, appreciate the 128 likes, boys. Let's go. Bro, the ammo for this thing runs out instantly. That's the issue. <sighs> max, 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 max. Oh. Actually, boys, we have been live for an hour and 30 minutes. You know what time that is? It is time we go to the after party. I didn't realize how long we've been. All right, boys. You guys know every single night we stream on YouTube for about an hour, hour and a half. And then we go and we do a 20... 30 sometimes an hour long stream over on twitch the goal is to get dark aether on this smg tonight we're probably going to finish over there on twitch if you want to check it out but uh yeah that's kind of the goal we'll probably end the stream once the dark aether camo is achieved boys uh put my hands up all right boys after party